This is Daisy and Cooper's Mint Ribbon Mail. He is an F1 Cavapoo. He is an apricot in white. He has a little white marking on his tail, little white markings on his feet, and then of course on his chest and his head and face. F1s are known to be more of a straighter wavy coat versus a curly coat. So full grown, I expect him to be more straight and then his adult coat should come in wavy. And there could be some minor shedding as he's transitioning from his puppy to adult coat, but there's no guarantee his adult coat won't shed, but it's probably less likely than his puppy coat. He should probably stay this color. He, I don't think he'll change a whole lot in color. And his parents are 10 and 15 pounds. So we would expect him to be somewhere in the 10, 15 pound range. Hi, Betty. Just wanna come over here, don't you? He's one of the larger ones in the litter, so probably closer to 15. Cavapoos are known for their either temperament, playful, outgoing, very loving, and I more considered, um, you can have them as a lap dog, but there's definitely some that are in agility as well. So they can kind of go both ways. And then they're also great size-wise for traveling and just being kind of an easy, uh, first small dog if you're this is your first time if you're a first time dog owner I love his markings he looks like a teddy bear you can see the ball okay come this way okay come this way there you go he looks so much bigger in the video but he's only he's not even three pounds he's only like two Two, probably a little bit over two pounds. You're getting close to three now, but yes, you are. Usually, cavapoos will grow most of their weight in that first few months, and then they won't grow a whole lot after that. Smaller breeds are known for that, they get bigger faster. What? <laughs> you just took the whole duck. Where are you going with it? Come this way. Come this way. Here we go. That duck is about the size of you, kiddo. 